honey. Can you help me get some stuff out of the car? Cat talk, going to build game review sex later. Oh, okay. I've got a PS5, you don't. I've got a PS5, and you don't. Hey, Bill. Huh? The channel's been a little quiet lately. How about another review? I'm working on it. You're just playing your PS5, aren't you? Jealous much? I have one too, you know. You're jealous. What do you want? Can't you see I'm making sweet, passionate love? What can I say? We have indeed come full circle. I mean, it felt like only yesterday, 10 years ago, that I was doing our first game review, which happened to be Sonic Colors on the Nintendo Wii. Fast forward, here we are today, no better off than we were then. But hey kids, sometimes life doesn't give you what you want. And that's a good lesson to learn today because we got Sonic Colors Ultimate. A bit of a surprise when it was announced earlier this year because hey, we didn't think Sonic Colors was that old. Turns out it's the 10th anniversary and it also happens to be the 30th anniversary of our favorite blue blur. God, I feel older every day. Personally, I've been in kind of a Sonic mood lately. Uh, recently, me and my wife watched that Sonic the Hedgehog movie that came out last year and it was surprisingly good. And so, hey, I was at least down for the Sonic Colors Ultimate. But then came the bad word of mouth, glitches and seizures and whatnot. Now, we can only tell you our personal experience and we'll be totally uninfluenced by what other people say. Here it is, Sonic Colors Ultimate, a supposed upgrade upon the original. But does it really live up to it? In this adventure, Sonic along with his good buddy Tails are out to stop Eggman's latest universe conquering scheme to open an interstellar amusement park. Huh. Well, I guess Eggman may be turning over a new leaf. Maybe he's not such a bad guy anymore, after all. Actually, no, he's just as evil as ever. It turns out the park is just a front, as Eggman is enslaving an alien species known as Wisps. By harnessing their power, he plans to make a mind control laser to take over Earth. Sonic and Tails visit the Eggman conquered planets in order to free the Wisps. By doing so, they lend Sonic their power, which gives him new abilities. Sonic and his friends team up to take down Eggman and his robot army. Now as far as a Sonic story goes, this game's is fine. It's fine. It certainly is not as offensive as, say, Sonic's 06's rather questionable material. But for a family-friendly game, it gets the job done. It does allow Sonic to meet new cast members and get new powers. It does not feel as forced as, say, Sonic Unleashed, where Sonic becomes a werehog. The one questionable area, of course, is still the humor. It's clearly targeted at a young audience, which is fine for what it is. But for us older Sonic fans, some lines can still be quite cringy. You talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to you. There's nobody else here, so I must be talking to you. Why haven't we fixed your voice chip yet? Another letdown is the final boss. I'm going to avoid spoilers here, but there really isn't much to it. Sonic has had more trying battles in his history. 
Sonic Color's story is not anything to write home about, and there are Sonic detractors who will point at the childish humor here as an example of why the series not aged all that well. But for those who are not bothered by it or willing to overlook that aspect of its title, then Sonic Color's story is still a fun time. I did a little shopping, grabbed a bite to eat, and trashed a giant killer robot. Oh, really? And they've got shopping here too? This place has everything. The adventure consists of six main worlds to play through. Tropical Resort, Sweet Mountain, Starlight Carnival, Asteroid Coaster, Aquarium Park, and Planet Wisp. Each planet has several stages for you to complete before ending with a boss fight. And by completing these stages, they will end with a letter grade, as per usual with Sonic games. You are given the option of continuing on or retrying again to improve on your score. There are also a couple of bonus levels such as Gameland which allow multiplayer and the Egg Shuttle which allow you quick access to different acts. Also of note, it's only by completing the Gameland section that you will be able to unlock the popular Super Sonic. Well, <laughs> along with collecting every single red ring in the game, which, Jesus Christ, is no easy feat. Let me tell you, hours gone, hours. Some are easy to find, but others will force you to replay stages a handful of times just to find all the nooks and crannies that these things might be hiding in. So if nothing else, if you are a completionist, the game is gonna keep you busy. Each level features many stables of classic 3D Sonic action, from dashing, double jumping, running, sliding, homing attacks, all the good stuff. Although some levels are a bit on the shorter side and can be completed in less than a minute. Really guys? But as you go through the worlds, you will find more challenging levels as well as ones that, you know, last longer than 30 seconds. And these stages will require some puzzle solving as well as, well, let's face it, trial and error. One big bonus is that the levels do feature quite a bit of replayability, as many of them feature numerous alternative paths that you can use. Throughout these paths, you can also find many rewards to improve your score and coins that you can use to make customizations to your game. It is one of the newer features, and I don't really have an opinion on it because it's just cosmetic stuff, so hey, if you like it, then more power to you. Adding to the fun are the wisps that will assist you throughout your journey. When you collect them, you can use them to transform into many different forms that will open up new areas for you. Now the wisps' powers do have a bit of a time limit, so you may want to use them more intelligently while you have them. It's sad to say, but Sonic 3D gameplay is still very polarizing. Many Sonic fans still feel that 2D Sonic is still the best way and only way to go, like with Sonic Mania. But we still feel that the 3D gameplay can be done well, like with the Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 games. Yeah, we're one of those. Suck it. But hey, Sonic Generations was also really damn good too. And you know what? Sonic Colors, in my opinion, is still one of the better ones out there and the addition of the Wisps only helped the experience. However, despite the game still having its original Sonic Colors goodness, we can't, however, say this port is without flaws, as what you've come to know from probably seeing this game show off around the internet, load times in between stages are a bit of an annoyance, the contrasting light and bloom effects do make the game in a sense look a little less appealing from the original Wii version, and while we didn't really experience any of the glitches ourselves, which we have to probably attribute to just our skills in playing Sonic games for so long that we've learned how not to break them. Sadly, patches or no patches, they do exist. However, all of these problems are still manageable, and despite them, you could still enjoy the game just fine. The bone's connected to the talk bone. The talk bone's connected to the mouth bone. You know, you honestly can't go wrong with the music from a Sonic the Hedgehog game. The series has a deep and rich history, and there's really no exception here. While the soundtrack for Sonic Colors is not one of the best of all time, it's still filled with catchy tunes that perfectly fit the scene and the area that you're in. And I have to admit, I always found the Drill Whist theme to be pretty catchy in a head-bumping kind of way. I know you're trying to be clever with this whole amusement park pun thing, but it's just coming off lame. Just say you're going to destroy us and stop embarrassing yourself. Now is the major issue with Sonic Colors Ultimate, the graphics themselves. First, there are the cutscenes. When watching them, we did quickly notice that they had a very digital look to them. And after some research, we found that they actually weren't re-rendered, but instead, the original 480 compressed cutscenes on the Nintendo Wii were used and upscaled with some AI machine. And uh, I gotta admit, it's not very visually appealing especially in this day and age where HD graphics are a must. 
The in-game graphics, while still bright and colorful, there appears to be some sort of soft hue to them. It sadly does prevent the game from looking as good as we know it can. But like we said, they can still be bright and colorful. Hell, especially Starlight Carnival. I I now, as far as the glitches go, I can say that, uh, once again, we were lucky enough to get a solid copy, as we were lucky enough to not experience any of the game-breaking bugs. Or color-distorting glitches. I mean, God help us. Now, we don't deny that there might be some messed up copies of this game out there, especially for the Switch, but we can only tell you what we experienced. And I suppose at the end of the day, it's a bit of a crapshoot. But we can say that there are functional copies out there that you can fully play. Also, lastly, the advantage of having a Switch is that you can play on the big screen and in handheld. And it appears that the visuals on the small screen look a bit better. Just wanted to mention that for what it's worth. That being said, if you were going to play a version of this game, I would probably stick to maybe one of the higher console versions just for the frame rate alone. I will destroy you, and I will be victorious! Is that better? Like a million times better. And now it's time for the final call. Is Sonic Colors Ultimate for the Switch a buy or sell? Maintains the fun Sonic Colors gameplay, inconsistent graphics and some poor conversion, reports of glitches that should be cause for concern. Honestly, the best way to play Sonic Colors is the original game on the Nintendo Wii. But let's face it, it's a console that is a couple generations old and is most likely a console that is also stuffed in your closet somewhere. But if you do need to play Sonic Colors in the easiest, most convenient way possible nowadays, especially in portable fashion, then Sonic Colors Ultimate can meet your needs. The game has gotten a lot of flack and rightfully so, but we also feel a lot of it is a little overblown, especially with the patches that are already out there and probably more to come in the future. Sonic Colors Ultimate is not going to be making any top 20 lists, but it can still provide an adequate 3D Sonic experience that you can enjoy despite its shortcomings. We are the Brotherhood of Gaming. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and visit our Teespring store to check out our TBOG merch. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time. And they forgot I'm here, didn't they?